In today's video, we'll be looking at shooting street photography for a magazine. Earlier this month, I was asked by Radar Magazine to shoot a series of images for their next issue. Radar Mag is a lifestyle-based magazine and that focuses on what's going on in Cardiff. It talks about everything from gigs, art exhibitions, what's going on, all the cool things that happen in Cardiff, but also it's a good platform. It features art, up and coming artists and musicians, photographers, all sorts. I was featured in the previous issue with some of my art and design work being featured on some of the pages. Even got a double page spread, which is pretty nice. Um, so when I came back asking for more photos, I jumped to the chance. Uh, what they were asking for this time was some pretty brutalist style sort of street images um, of in and around Cardiff. So for this, I'd come up with a series of locations. Um, it was quite nice that they were all in walking distance because sometimes you can get images on the way in between places and sometimes there's been random bits which you can't anticipate, which is the essence of street photography. I shot both film and digital for this. The digital camera was my Fuji XC2 with the 50mm Canon 1.8 lens, which I reviewed in my previous video here. And also I used my Canon A1 SLR film camera with the with a new 28mm FD lens. It was my first outing with this lens, um, but I'm well familiar with that camera. So it was just it was just a new experience on something I already knew, which was actually pretty nice. So there was people sort of buzzing around town. It was in the centre of Cardiff where I went, more or less. So there was always a lot of footfall. And all these locations had strong architectural features, so conditions for street photography. Uh, the film I used was Ilford 400, uh, the classic. And I also shot, I shot RAW, raw and JPEG. Um, so I wasn't really sure. I wanted to shoot black and white, but there were some locations which did call out for color. So I shot RAW so I can just do it in post. A week or so before shooting, I had a list of locations, so I decided to head out on a scouting mission to check out where to where would be good to go. I took my digital with me just so I can get instant reference, and we just tried a few things out. After I took the final images, I went back and just went through everything. I took about 200 photos altogether, so I had to whittle it down. Um, I whittled it down to 10 that I sent over to the magazine for selection. Um, they ended up choosing five, which to be honest, I was pretty chuffed about. There were about three images in particular that I really, really liked. Um, there's one of the uni building, where it's just the building shop, but it's layered really nicely. 
The second one was of the Gaucho billboard with a passerby just passing through the frame. I think it's framed really nice in the, the red. The, the red was really reminiscent of the Kodachrome old slide film sort of look I had in my mind that I was trying to capture. The third image, which I think it's one of my best that I've taken in the last couple of years, I don't know, it was just one of those moments where the first time you see it, you're just like, that is exactly what I was after. Um, but it was two people passing by the Students' Union and the composition, the frame and the light, and I think it's perfect. There's almost like a painterly quality to it. Doing this sort of thing, I'd hope to probably do more of it in the future. It was quite nice just to have an actual dedicated project where I can go plan and then enact it out. If you want to grab a copy of Radar Mag yourself, you can head over to the website. I'll put a link in the description below. Or check it out or just find out what's going on at Cardiff. It's a great magazine just, just to get for a multitude of reasons. Or you can follow them on Instagram. And if you want to support the channel or see me on other platforms, you can click the links in the description below for social media, or you can use the affiliate links to below and push a commission from that goes to help support the channel. See you in the next one.